Good morning. It is now Friday and we're going fishing. I'm not wearing a watch today, so the last time I wore a watch, my my wrist was all like a different color than my the rest of my arm. It's just this is gonna be the, like the first time that I get some real sun uh, in 2016. I gotta make sure that I'm doing it right. Anyway, Robert is downstairs right now waiting for me. I'm talking super quiet because it's it's 5 a.m. I don't know, I get like three hours of sleep, but I don't care. I'm going fishing, I'm super excited. I need to be at the number one spot amongst my friends again. And that's what we'll be doing today. I'm super psyched. What room was I? Fuck. Texas was supposed to be warm. It's like fucking 50 degrees right now. Jesus. All right, just got to Lake Athens. We're about to change because my dumb ass assumed that Texas was gonna be what Texas is supposed to be, warm. It's not. So I'm wearing Rob's lucky pants. That's gonna be the new, the new company name. Rob's Lucky Pants. Uh, remember guys, Rob said that he was gonna put me on some fish. <laughs> So if we don't catch fish, look at this fucking boat. Look at that boat. Flonkish TV, that's his YouTube channel. I don't have my watch, but it's 7.44. We're about to get on the water. It's cold as fuck. Texas, what are you doing? You ready, Drew? Ready. Drew, Drew. Two Drews, two Drews don't make a right, guys. Let's go, Andrew. Nice, pal. Not a bad one. All right, dudes, this is the, th the fourth fish for me of the day, and it's the fattest one on the boat so far. We're gonna, we're gonna weigh it right now. Yeah. 2.91, it's about a three pounder. Three pounder. Three. Biggest one of the day, it's awesome. <laughs> Woo, all right, so four for today. Oh, I'm like oh, super yeah. psyched about <laughs> it. <laughs> I broke it. Oh, oh goodness, man. that's no good. <laughs> yeah. Choke it too much. There we go. We got this fishing. Nice. There you go. That's a fatty. What the fuck? You know what you just did? What? You pulled the mail off the first time. Oh, you think? Yeah, 100% sure. Yeah, you just pulled the mail off and you just got the female. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, okay. it's taking a pee. It's <laughs> peeing on you. Got a giant. We're going to weigh it. Look at this one. thing. We gotta get away, cause that's definitely the biggest of the day. This is how you do it. I got, it's all the way in there, so we're gonna have to do some surgery really quick. The boat ramp. This guy's getting naked well, in public? Yeah, you don't want to show up to the airport smelling like straight up. No, I'm not changing, I'm just... You gonna, you, you gonna, you're, you're gonna smell like straight up one pounders. Oh well. <laughs> it's just straight up. He caught his, uh, he caught the good ones today, didn't he not? Me? Yeah, he caught all the good ones. I didn't. So this guy, his name is Andrew. He's got a channel called Andrew Flair Outdoors. Andrew Flair Outdoors. This guy, you guys know him, Rob from UMG, Lunkers TV, owner of this amazing. I don't know why, but every single time I fish, my hair does this, and I don't want it like that. Okay, I know that you guys think that I'm trying to be stylish. I'm not. I'm already stylish. I don't try it. I do. Anyway, I outfished. No, I'm kidding. I, I I got really lucky. These guys put me on a lot of good fish. I wasn't even setting up my. Actually, I'm not going to say that because my friends are going to make fun of me. Because <laughs> they, uh, they set up my first bait. It was the Cinco, which I never used before because in, in Chicago, you don't really use those. Well, for now, you're good, you're good. Um, but I tell you one thing, okay? I caught the biggest fish this year, today, and hopefully tomorrow, I'll beat my Texas best. Or hopefully, I get to catch the little football that we caught last year. I mean, I'm, I'm like in love with that one. Like, um... The 
the shirt that we made from Bashers that has the double digit club one was based off of this one little football's belly. <laughs> it's the, it's the uh, it's actually my profile picture on Twitter right now. If you guys go check it out, if you look at it, it's got this nice little belly. It was amazing. You can tell that that guy was like the most aggressive fish his age in that area because he ate up all the little ones. He it ate all of its brothers, real violent like. Anyway, we're heading back to the airport. We gotta drop off Andrew. Andrew's going back to Nebraska. Unfortunately, because we could have fished tomorrow, but he hates friendship <laughs> and good times. All right, man. It was a pleasure. Yeah. I'm sure we'll fish again. Sure. We'll see you later. I'll see you in like about two hours. All right, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have the raccoon eyes, okay? It's what happens when you go fishing. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more of the same. Tomorrow, it's a little bit more of the same. Tomorrow I'm going fishing at 5 a.m. in the morning and then I'm gonna take off. Uh, man, I, I gotta tell you, um, every single time that I come to Dallas, I have like these, these very fond memories of what the MLG circuit used to look like in 2011 all the way to 2013. Uh, maybe even 14, you know, that the, the circuit of the of MLG used to be this like this this amazing event that would happen year round and every year we, we would come and do the Dallas Convention Center and I say we because we we participated in it and I remember going to the staying at the Omni Hotel uh, every single time I would ask to be put on a on a floor that was facing the street and I remember just leaving my my windows wide open falling asleep and then waking up with the sun coming up and and then I remember like the the passion that I used to have for just like wanting to wake up, wanting to wake up and go downstairs, have breakfast, you know, drink my coffee and then head into the venue, you know, meet a whole bunch of people. But at the same time, like watching my team compete, uh, hanging out with the, with the guys afterwards, right? After every match, we'd go and get lunch, uh, we'd come back, watch the game. If they were losing, I would go upstairs, watch it from there. And, and you know, that's, that's what it was. It was like, and, and back in those days, and I think that that's missing right now. I think one of the uh, one of the things that's missing right now in Call of Duty and, and, and esports for Call of Duty is the events. And, and you know what? I, I think I'm, I'm going to go as far as is the events, right? Like the the atmosphere that it created for fans and pros and and, and members alike. I remember going there and just like feeling like at home, almost right, feeling in a in, in a place where you belonged. Um, you know, walking in, saying hi, like seeing the, seeing like all the booths, right? The army was there. Uh, I think there was like flips, was like pretzels. They had like the PlayStation ex experience. It was, it was an actual experience. It wasn't just a place where you go and compete and that's that. No, it wasn't. It was like a carnival. You would go there and as a fan, I think, and this is something that a lot of the, the and that's, and this is something that we're missing, right? Every single time we're at a meeting, it's like, what are we missing? I always say, we're missing the fan experience. Right? Yeah, it's important for them to go watch the events and have fun and watching the people compete. But at the same time, what we're missing, guys, is we're missing the ability for these fans, these spectators, to take a break from watching. Maybe the team that they went to go watch isn't playing, so what do they do? They walk around, they go to the pro shop, they buy MLG glow sticks, they buy MLG shot glasses, they buy MLG shirts with their names on the back. Um, they go and play like free for all in one of the one of the booths. Uh, those I think that that's what's missing right now. I think that that we're, we're we're missing it and we're missing it dearly. Still to this day, one of the best events that I've ever been to had been Call of Duty XP, right? And yeah, it was fun that we won it. But me as a fan, me as a spectator, I got a chance to play paintball in Scrapyard, which was amazing to me. Just recently, we played paintball in Nuketown, so you know, kind of lost its luster a little bit. Uh, but Scrapier was like amazing to play on. Uh, the zip lining, the off-road vehicles, the 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 th the foresight, right? The thought that they had ahead of time to know that people were gonna want to collect the Call of Duty, the Call of Duty XP patches and put them on their shirts. Like, yeah, some nerd stuff, right? But I'm a nerd when it comes to Call of Duty. I like loved every single minute of it, right? There was like a, a sumo res. Like, I don't I don't think people remember this, but there was like a sumo wrestling area. Um, that, that, that was amazing. And inside you got to play Modern Warfare 3. 
which was uh, you know awesome. It was the first time we played it. So the the Call of Duty experience to me to this day is by far the best thing that we've ever had. You know, you got there, you got swag. I still to this day have like all the swag from those days, right? I bought absolutely every single thing that they were selling. I bought except for maybe the thermoses. But aside from that, I bought every single thing that they were serving that, that they were selling. I participated in every single experience because it was like, how can you not? Right, like if, if you give somebody the opportunity to go off roading, you're gonna go off roading, and, and it was amazing because they had like actors with guns. Anyway, I I, I didn't mean to get off on a rant right now, uh, but you know, being in Dallas, it always brings me back to those to those days and and, and that sort of memory. All right, that's gonna do it for me tonight, guys. Uh, I'm gonna start editing right now, and I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I gotta get up at five again. So uh, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow at the same damn.